have pneumonia, take it. It's yours. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to So What You Like. I am your girl, Mari Mills. How y'all doing out there? Hopefully everyone's doing well and swell. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk to you about some of the items that I wore on my trip to Chicago and then kind of let you know what I'm working on next or now. All right, so if that is something that you're interested in seeing, keep on watching. All right, guys, so I briefly mentioned in my previous video that I um, had went back home to Chicago or I went out of town. So I did go back home to Chicago. I had two graduations that I had to attend for my oldest daughter who is receiving her, well, who received her master's in nursing and she's working on her NP or nurse practitioner's certificate. Okay, let me get that right. Because I was like, oh yeah, she's a nurse practitioner. She was like, yeah, not yet. Um, so, but she's going to get there and we'll get there. All right. And the second being my oldest niece, my first baby, she received her master's in social work. So her MSW, I guess is what it's called and social work. So a huge congratulations to Sharice and Patience. All right, on receiving their master's degrees. All right, so now let's get into what I took to wear. So you know how you try to be proactive. You look at the weather and where you're going. You know anything about Chicago, weather's definitely bipolar. I mean, Georgia is the weather's bipolar too, but that's Chicago. Pow, pow, pow. We'll try to knock you out and be like, here, have pneumonia, take it, it's yours, all right? So, I tried to come prepared, all right? And if you hear some popping in the background, uh, somebody's outside doing fireworks already, and it's not even July 4th. How about that? So, anyway... Let's get into the things that I took. So, what I was thinking, how the weather was trending, I was like, oh, I should be able to wear my dresses, you know, with some cute sandals. With some cute sandals. And life's grand, right? But I always overpack, which... My husband doesn't understand, the kids don't understand, but it's because I need to be prepared for the punches that are going to come at me when it comes to the weather. So, first thing that I'll show you that I wore um, was these shorts, and I'll show you the shorts in a second, but they were from Vogue. 1871 now for this pattern I wasn't necessarily crazy about the top but I did like the shorts and I believe it's um, curated curvy curry curated curated curry I can't remember the her um, you, um, her name okay of her channel but she was raving about these shorts right so I was like you know what I'm gonna give them a go okay so they are if you see here and um, they're basically a high waist short, loose fitting high waist short, okay? Now, I wanted to make mine out of some Ankara that I had in my stash. And for patterns, I'm, I'm noticing with shorts that are loose fitting, the hip is always going to be an issue for me because my hips are not that big. Okay, I wasn't blessed in that area. All right, the Lord was like, I'm gonna give you something up top, but not on bottom. All right, so that's that. 
So here are the shorts and I do love them. But when I make them again, <laughs> your girl gonna have to do some adjustments because your girl was tripping. But here they are. Okay. And I just think that they're darling. I love the print. It's bold. Kind of like, like me, like my attitude. You know, bold. <laughs> so I love it. Like, they're giving personality, okay? So I love them. I wore them with a crop shirt um, that I already had. A ready-to-wear crop shirt that I had um, in my stash. And I wore them with... Um, some sneakers like my high top um converse sneakers loved 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 it oh my god i love those so much and i want to make more of them but this is what i did y'all in noticing that the hip was going to be an issue i think i don't say i took too much off in the hip area but the portion from the waist to where it gets to the hip I don't think I allowed myself enough ease. So when I do make them again, I am going to probably not sew it at five eighths. I'll probably sew it at maybe like a half inch to give myself a little ease. Okay. I think that's going to do it. But other than that, I love them. But I do have to go fix some stuff because of that ease that I mentioned that I didn't have. Yeah. Got a little situation around the pockets. So I'm going to have to fix that. All right. So those are the shorts that I took to wear. Okay. And um, so let's get into what I wore to graduation number one. Graduation number one was that Saturday. That was my oldest daughter's graduation. And I made, um, I made like a, what do we want to call this? Like a kimono a jacket whatever you want to call it this is what i made okay i made this and i made view d i believe let me look <laughs> uh no view a the longer one i made view a here okay and this is new look 64.76. Okay. And so here are the line drawings. You can see they have different lengths. Okay. What, what, what's going on here? Okay. There's the line drawings. They have the different lengths. Okay. And so this is, um, you know, it's a jacket. Different lengths. It does have the option on view C to do some contrast sleeves and lower band. Um, so yeah, I made view A, and when I tell you I love it, I love it. I felt like so amazing in it. I felt very chic in it, and I just love the whole look, as you'll see in the pictures. Okay, I don't have a picture of me in the shorts, but I do have a picture of me in the jacket robe kimono whatever you want to label it as now underneath it i wore a ready ready um ready to wear little tank top dress um that was in my stash okay and i uh paired it well accessorized it with a white hat and and some sandals and i felt very upper class in it. <laughs> okay, so you guys be the judge of that on which you, you know, you, whatever you think, you know, how you think. Uh, listen, everybody has their own style, but I feel upper class and can't nobody tell me nothing about that. Okay, now, okay, for graduation number two, I intended on wearing a dress. Okay. Now, I had two options. I had the Nomi pattern by Kitchy B. The, um, and I don't have the pattern out. I'll have to pop it up here. It was the, um, 
her dress that she the dress pattern that she came out that I had made out of the Ankara that button here and it had the big pockets on the side that was an option but it was sleeveless so I was like woo maybe I need to hold my mule on that right because of the weather so it ended up being rainy okay and kind of cool so I still almost was contemplating on wearing a dress and I'll show you the dress right here on Bussy Lou. So let's bring this down. Hopefully it co cooperates. Oh, sorry guys. So here is the dress. Okay. That I was going to wear. Now, you might be like, long sleeves. Long sleeves were appropriate because it was very cool, okay? And this is not a very thick fabric at all, okay? So, I would have been easy breezy in here, okay? So, this portion might look familiar to you. And I'll get into the pattern that I use. But this is a dress and it has... I, um have ruching on the side. Let's see if we can turn the to the side. I don't know if you'll be able to see the ruching. There's a little ruching there on the side. Very cute. It's a rounded hem at the bottom. But I was like, I could do this with some sandals. So that was supposed to be what I was supposed to wear, okay? You see my face, right? Aaron, wrong answer. Chicago was tripping. The weather was tripping. It was very, very windy. And the rain was going. And I was like, I mean, it wasn't a heavy rain, but it was the wind. And I was like, there is no way I'm wearing a dress and some sandals and risking my life and getting pneumonia. So, I didn't do that. So... Let me let you know. So, this, okay, is the pattern that I use. So, it's kind of like a hack. I turned it into a dress with rouging on the side. All right. So, I use for the top McCall's ADO3. All right. So, I'm so bummed I didn't get a chance to wear it. I haven't had a chance to wear this dress at all, but it will have its debut one day. All right. So, what I did end up wearing to graduation number two, which was my oldest niece graduation, I ended up wearing a jumpsuit, which was McCall's 7910. I will pop up a picture of the pattern and a picture of me in it. All right. And what I did was, um, since it is, a one shoulder jumpsuit I did have like a crop jacket crop black jacket in my closet that I paired on top of it so that I wouldn't be totally freezing okay and I did have a jacket on over that but I just I threw on that little jacket little crop jacket because it's look cold in the venue as I knew before the day before from being there so I just threw that on, okay? And so the bottom, if you know anything about that jumpsuit, the bottom is not, um, I think it's like a, the leg is kind of like a slim leg in there. So I didn't necessarily use the bottoms from there, I don't think. I think I probably used the bottoms from um, a different pattern. I believe it's McCall's, is it 8037, 8047, the off the shoulder jumpsuit. I use those pants kind of slimmed them down and then i put elastic at the bottom and your girl wore some gym shoes because she didn't want her feet cold she didn't want to get sick so i wore some high top i wore my high top converse gym shoes with that and i did have a hat on that survived because it blew away my grandmother had to catch it okay um yeah so that is what i wore to graduation number two all right so that, um, oh, and also, I did take my jumpsuit, my neon yellow jumpsuit that I showed you in the previous um, video, McCall's 8028. 
I did take that with me and I wore that um, during the day on Saturday before the graduation, um, which is why I was like, I had to get any pictures because I was in the moment having fun, you know, with family, just want to have fun. And when you haven't seen each other, you just want to catch up, be in the moment, you know, so yes. Those are the items that I wore on my trip to Chicago, okay? Now, moving on to what I am working on. I am working on this pattern here, which is a runway simplicity pattern, Simplicity 8094. And I am doing view E right here all right no view C why do I always keep getting it wrong yeah I'm sorry view C I'm pointing to it <laughs> view C right here this is what I'm currently working on and I am really digging it now this pattern um as you can see it has the splits on the side but this is kind of like a war one of those wardrobe style patterns and so here are the line drawings here. Let's see if we can get them in. So you have leggings, you have the shorts, and then you have the different lengths um, of the tops, okay? And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make these shorts to go up underneath it, or if I'm gonna make some different shorts, but I definitely will be wearing shorts underneath it, but they, they ain't, they're not gonna be those. Those are a little, short for me yeah so i probably won't be wearing those um and i might have some already you know like in my closet that i can wear but definitely i'm looking forward to this and i give you a sneak peek of the fabric that i'm using this is the fabric that i'm using all right and i think because it's such um an easy sew like this is really easy you just have two pieces it's two pieces because i'm not doing the sleeve so you have your front and your back that's it beginner friendly very cute very chic okay this is this is a good one guys so i do want to make it in i might be being overachiever here i want to make one or two more because they're so fast i feel like you know in a day i can knock out at least two more of these you know if they're already cut out because for the neck you're just doing you're doing bias around the neck and the sleeves um i think they have you turn it under if i remember correctly but i think i'm gonna do bias to finish the sleeves as well now, what I will say is, um, be selective of the, mater <laughs> the material because, whoo, honey chow, I, I was using this as kind of like a muslin, like a wearable muslin because I do like the fabric. However, if it didn't come out the way I uh, wanted it to come out, I wouldn't be upset that the fabric you know, I wouldn't feel like the fabric was wasted, right? Because that was an intention for it to be a wearable muscle. So, guys, that is it for this video. It has gone on long enough. And you know what? I am so sorry, guys. I just wanted to get right into the video. But I forgot to thank you guys. And I'm so sorry. So, listen, thank you so much to my returning subscribers. And thank you so much to my new subscribers. And welcome, welcome. So glad you decided to join me on my creative journey. I'm a little, um, I'm a little goofy. Maybe a little weird, a little out there. But it's all in good fun. Hopefully, um, you've had a chance to view some of my videos and you like them. All right. So, yes, thank you so much. And also, guys, I mean, I am really super excited because we are on the road to 500. So, we're growing. Um, and 
you know, I really like creating this content for you guys. Because um, I'm just silly, y'all. I'm just, in real life, I'm just silly. So, <laughs> so you know, so, I don't know. I just, I just, I love doing it. And I hope that you guys keep coming back. Um, I hope that, you know, you like what you see. You share, you know, um, give me thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, but you have been here one, two, or three times, please consider subscribing to help your girl out. All right, guys, I'm about to get out of here. See you in the next video where I will be revealing. Let me not hold up the wrong pack. See, me being silly. Well, I'll be revealing my makes, okay? And stay blessed and peace. Goodbye.